Aloha, Tim here for a quick video about iOS backup and restore and the failures of jailbreaking. So uh, I recently underwent the process of having to restore my iPad 2. It was jailbroken. I was unable to do the over the air upgrade or even an iTunes upgrade. So I had to do a full out restore. Now uh, I did this either just because it was jailbroken and that caused some issues with the update process. And I was thinking initially I'd do another jailbreak, but I'm opting with the, the decision to not jailbreak this time. Uh, the functionality that I gained through jailbreak, just I don't need it anymore. And quite frankly, the ease of going with OTA updates, over-the-air updates in iOS 5 makes it all worthwhile. So I want to just talk a little bit about backup and restore. In iOS 5 with iCloud, you're able to do online backup and online restore. And compared to iTunes backup and restore, it may seem like a slower process, but it's a better process. Now, let me explain myself here. When you do a backup and restore through iTunes, through using the little USB cord that all of us really love, you know, uh, you have one big problem with this. iTunes assumes that every app that is on your iPad is on your computer. That is a terrible assumption as most people, I would wager, don't have all their apps backed up onto their Mac or Windows computer. Now, if you do a restore through that, and if you don't have your apps already on the computer, that means you're gonna have to try to remember with your mind what apps were actually installed on your iPad, and it will try to put them back in place if you do them one by one, and that works. But, as I said, you're gonna have to remember that. And I don't remember that. And I'm sure most of you don't remember that. So what I opted for is the iCloud Restore. So I tried this twice. I, I erased my iPad, updated that I was 5.1.1, did the restore via iTunes. Then I did it the same way as after, after I got frustrated with its method of not giving me all my apps back, of doing the iCloud Restore. And when I did the iCloud Restore, uh, sh it was amazing to me that it threw down all my apps and it says waiting. So it'll actually download all of my apps, actually all my music and movies and other content through iTunes that were on my iPad when I backed up to iCloud. So as long as you're backed up to iCloud, it'll know which folders your apps go and all those different things and install them exactly as you left them. All your app data is there and it's perfect. So I had to do the restore through uh, what was uh, iTunes, but uh, I was able to, or I had to do my update, uh, my restore and update, I should say, through iTunes, but for the actual restoring of data onto the iPad, I opted for iCloud. It was remarkable how good it was and how bad iTunes is. I really wish iTunes would realize you don't have all the apps. Do it the same way iCloud does it and download those from the cloud as well. So kudos to Apple on an awesome iCloud backup in her store. Uh, not so good Apple on the lousy job you're doing with iTunes Restore. So just some tips on if you're going to be restoring your iPad, have a good iCloud backup. The iTunes backup, kind of worthless in my opinion, but uh, just some thoughts there. Stay subscribed to T Chatton on YouTube for upcoming videos about all things Apple and other topics. Aloha.